I thought I would share some decorating ideas with you guys. This is how the rental house I had in Florida was decorated and I thought I'd share to maybe give some ideas since it's that time of year that we're all going to be dragging everything out and starting our decorating for Halloween. So first I'm going to start with the dining room. This is how the dining room was. I had different uh, potion and apothecary bottles in the china hutch masquerade masks hanging on each side of the hutch and then a centerpiece that I did on the dining table. Now the dining table is draped in a web tablecloth that was purchased at TJ Maxx but I have seen them this year 2017 at both Michaels and 99 cent store and then the three pumpkins in the middle were purchased at Ross. If you like those designs, of course, um, for the larger one on the left, you can just add sparkles to a pumpkin, draw the spider web, and then glue a spider on. And the other ones you could do with either lace wrapped around or painting lace. Now the masquerade masks that you see here, there's going to be two on each side. Now these masquerade masks were harder to track down. They were at TJ Maxx, and um, they were kind of hit or miss. I went several months to find them and um, pick them up each individually. Now I have since sold one of them that I didn't think was going to make the move safely. I am probably going to sell the others on eBay within the next few weeks if you want to check on there. Um, it'll just say like Halloween masquerade masks or something similar because I've just um, changed up the decor some and I'll no longer be using them. Now these are all the different potion bottles that I did in the china cabinet. Um, what you can do is, of course, with your liquor bottles, which are the ones in the bottom center, I just printed out the large labels, attached them to the backs, and turned the bottles around. That way they can look like the potion bottles, and then also we could use the alcohol for the upcoming Halloween party. Now the various bottles that you see here have been purchased, and to grow your collection, you'll just pick up um, bottles different places that you find them. You can make your own labels, print them online, or purchase them once they go on sale. Um, that little purple one down front came from Michaels. The black one on the left came from Michaels. And then the larger bottles that have the glass and mercury glass came from TJ Maxx, including that awesome um, decanter over on your right, the one that has a skull that's black with the like clear lid. Also the teeny tiny ones with the skull head. So that's a good idea that you can replicate too on any potion bottles you have. Just get some little plastic skull heads that you have like from the 99 cent store garlands and just super glue them on top of your bottles. And same thing like how they did with the little pumpkin. That's something easy and just adds an extra little touch for your Halloween potions. And then I got the glasses that are the Day of the Dead glasses. Um, those were at Ross, but I've seen them at the 99 cent store now because of course things trickle down after the few years. Um, these other large the Vampire Love Potion and the smaller one, those are decanters. I also had gotten those at TJ Maxx. You can do the same thing with your Home Goods or Marshalls or TJ Maxx stores and just put the labels on those. They have those kind of decanters here around. And then here's the start of my bust collection. I'm going to actually share that with you guys because I've added some and changed some. Since I've moved, again, I had to kind of just keep some of my items. And then I've also purchased some additions, which are really awesome. Um, I've got the two Reapers, and then the one in the center was a talking bust. I think that I got him. I know at Grandin Road they had one similar but I think I actually purchased him at TJ Maxx as well. And then I put these on my little half wall going into the dining room. So this is actually looking from the living room to the dining room. And then I had that little small Medusa my mom found for me. Um, I think she found that at a flea market. The guy in the center is another Reaper. He was from TJ Maxx and the guy on the right was from Home Goods. Actually this year Home Goods does have a guy similar to him. He's kind of dressed like a pirate. And then I think that they had this same guy when I went the other day as well. And then this is a feather tree that I bought at TJ Maxx. I really loved the look. It almost like it had brown feathers, almost like I don't know, like a raven or something. And you could do that pretty easily if you get one of those sticky kind of trees and just attach feathers or even pieces of boa would be nice. Um, and then I had this life size butler. The life size butler was awesome. He was about 
five foot six, and I thought he, I think he was from Department, I think it's Department 56 is the name of the company. Um, you can find him still used sometimes online. He's well worth the money. The detail is awesome. And then this is how I did my mantle. Um, I had the stacked skull guys and then the little candles with the skull heads and top hats. Uh, the skull heads, those were from Michaels a few years back. The skull stacked guys are from TJ Maxx. They actually have bigger ones this year there for sale also. The Headless Horseman up front was also from TJ Maxx, and I saw him at Home Goods the other day. They actually had several of him, so he's back, which is awesome. Um, he's another one that's a good size and worth the money. And then the back was a topiary that I found. That you could recreate pretty easily uh, with some just craft foam and adding the skulls on. And then I had this awesome lady. Um, she was, I think again, TJ Maxx. So. Um, TJ Maxx has some really awesome things. I used to live close to one, so I would go there every few days because they literally put new things out all the time so that I could get first dibs on all the goodies. And this is a witch. She was actually also a tree topper. Um, she had a like cone in the bottom of her. This same witch um, style and by this same company is still available. They make different ones each year. And I actually picked up one this year from Home Goods that's in her st her same collection and again I'll share that with you guys when I add the video of this week's Halloween haul or this year's Halloween haul sorry and then the guy with the top hat loved him he actually had a little light if you can see by his feet that shined up on him and then that little uh, urn with the red flowers I actually picked that up at one of those like consignment or antique indoor stores and then I had this diamond tree I bought from TJ Maxx years ago and I just added the little crows. Um, I got the crows at Michaels and Dollar Tree and this is another thing that's really easy to duplicate if you have like ficuses or fake plants around your tree you can just stick the different crows in there it's really cheap and um, nice little look and then here is my Halloween Christmas tree so for this all the ornaments again came from different places some were from eBay some were from Hallmark store, some were from Pier One, um, those and tons at um, TJ Maxx also for the ornaments. They had some really nice blown glass one at Home Goods the other day too, if you like those. And then I topped it with a spider that I found at Ross. This again, pretty easy to duplicate. It's like pantyhose on some styrofoam is all it was made out of, um, and then some blingies. And then I took the creepy cloth and draped it all the way down and around the tree so it kind of looked like that was the spider making its webbing. And then these Hocus Pocus blocks, I got those at TJ Maxx also. And these are actually really cool. This is something you can definitely make on your own. All you need is different style blocks and you can add all kinds of different patterns from the back and make it say whatever you want like Hocus Pocus, Spells, Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. Um, here's another pretty easy one. The little candles at the bottom, the three pair, those were from Ross and then the candle holders were from Michaels and the candles were from Michaels. Again, those, um, the clear ones, you could do a transparency or even just using like glass paint on some um, candle holders and reproduce that look. My medical stuff is just stuff that you have to hunt down. I mean that one took months. Um, this one's from a medical book that had like different charts in it. All I did was take out the different charts and just get them laminated and hang them separately. It looks kind of creepy with the stuff that I had. Um, this is another one that my mom found at I want to say a flea market. It's like a teeth set. They like dentists use it to set false teeth or dentures or something. It's just really creepy looking and really goes well with all the uh, doctor stuff if you have kind of medical things mixed in and I liked to put all those things in the kitchen and then I also found this medical bag the medical bag I found I think it was at an auction um, so check out your local auctions there's a lot of little um, companies that do local auctions and estate sales uh, same thing with this wheelchair here. This wheelchair was freaking awesome. I love that it had the white padding because it looked like an asylum one, not just like a old wicker wheelchair. It was awesome. Awesome piece. 
that again was at a um, an auction, and I think I got that for only fifty dollars. I mean, nobody knew what to do with it. And then there's Killer Polly. I love Killer Polly. I actually have her still in Florida with family and hoping mom is going to send her soon and if and when she does I'll share her she's about five foot four if you actually google killer Polly she may still be available for sale it was a company that made large props and then this was my graveyard um, I got only the realistic tombstones that you buy that are three-dimensional and made out of like the plaster not the styrofoam because I wanted to look as um, authentic as could be and to grow a collection like this, it does take you a few years. Just every time they have things, pick them up, and they're usually on sale. So, hope you guys got some ideas from this. Love sharing. Cannot wait to share the Halloween haul and see what you guys have. Again, put your comments below, and remember to subscribe if you're liking what I'm giving you. So, you guys have a great Halloween. I'll see you on the next video.